I welcome you into a new day. Jesus reigns and he rules in the affairs of men. Let's glorify him. Let's go ahead and appreciate him. He is the Almighty. He is the King of the universe. He is the God that divided the race. Akatele gede de brege dosh. Is the one that has donated free oxygen to you and I in order to see a new day. Don't be an ingrate. Open your mouth. Appreciate him. Glorify him. Honor him. He is seated between the cherubims. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is God all by himself. He has zoomed jurisdiction on his own. No man voted him into power. Therefore, give him the glory, give him the praise. He is precious. He is glorious. He is merciful. There is no one like unto our God. He has no part to. He rise in the heavens by the name Jah, who is like unto our God. Is the man of war. Is the God that pampers us. Glorify, adore Him, celebrate Him. We join the twenty and the four elders to lay our trophies at Your feet and to proclaim You Lord above all other lords and to proclaim You the God of all flesh, the everlasting Father. Our help, our hiding place. The God, when He speaks, there is multitude of waters in the heavenlies. The one who said, Let there be light, and there was light. We worship you, the light, the resurrection, and the life. Go ahead and appreciate. Father, harvest thanksgiving from us. It comes from the deepest part of our being. You are wonderful. You've done us well. The God that keepeth covenant with his people. We exalt thee. We magnify you. We praise you. We say big thank you. Thank you, our Father, for all you've done, for the things you are yet to do, and for the ones you are doing in the now. For who you are, we reverence and we bow at your feet. Hello, we be your name. And blessed be God forever and ever. Sweet Holy Spirit. Welcome you to this new day. You look amazing in a new day and you do it amazing things. Accept our worship, our God. For in Jesus Christ's precious name we give thanks. Amen. I'm so excited. Now let's do this song together as we proceed in our Father's presence. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh God, you have been so good. You are so good to me. Oh God, you are excellent in my life. Every day, oh God, you have been so good you are so good to me oh god you are excellent in my life i see i have seen the lord's goodness his mercies and compassion I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness, his mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. This is Spirit Praise Daily Devotional, and Spirit Praise Daily Devotional comes their way every morning to build up your spiritual capacity and network. It comes as a daily dose to strengthen your spiritual cables and wires and to keep you ablaze for God. All days, there's a kalash. And our topic for today says, God wants to use you for exploits. Malia Kagadabagadosh Zeze Nana Shikatiya Kagadabagadosh And we shall take our Bible reading from Jeremiah 51 verse 20 And the Bible says Thou art my battle ass and weapons of war For with thee will I break in pieces the nations And with thee will I destroy kingdoms Permit me to start by saying that every Christian is called to be a soldier. And hear me, friends, the worst thing that can happen to any soldier is to go to war without weapons. And so God is reminding us this morning that we are his battle asses and weapons of warfare. Of course, you know, God is a warrior. <laughs> True. Mark what I have just said. God is a warrior with evidential track record that he has never lost any battle before. And never will he lose till infinity. As a matter of fact, no warrior goes to battle without a weapon to fight. Otherwise, you become a victim of war. Chai. In fact, you don't just go to war with any kind of weapon. <laughs> I said you don't just go to war with any kind of weapon. Rather, you go to war with befitting weapons. <laughs> that suits the war. Friend, what am I saying? Every warrior goes to war with trusted and reliable weapons which has been proven and tested over time that it matches the war hear me friends you are god's battle ass never forget that a battle ass is a verified known weapon of war it is usually used by an enemy to knock down another enemy. That's why, by way of emphasis, our text says, and weapons of war. And that is to say, you are not just a battle ass, but God's weapon of war. Friend, as God's children, we are called to be his battle axis, which he can use to destroy the kingdom of darkness. Of course, you know that is an honorable position which should not be abused. Permit me to remind us that whatever God will do on earth, he will do through a man. If God will preach the gospel on earth to sinners, it will be done through a man. If he would raise the dead on earth, it will be done through a man. Even to sing in choir, God will need a man. Even to deliver the oppressed and bondage, God will surely need a man. Even to finance God's work and to finance missionaries, 
God, we need a man. Somebody on the line, he sent me this morning to say to you, you are his battle ass. And his weapon of warfare. And his desire is to use you and accomplish his purpose on the surface of the earth. If you can give him our sex. I said if you can give him our sex. A time came. God wanted to salvage the generation of Isaiah. And God was in need of a weapon. And heaven decided to make a global announcement in Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8. And I read, also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, here am I, send me. God help us this morning. So as a weapon of warfare, Isaiah volunteered to be used by God as a weapon of warfare. I believe that God is already speaking to someone on the line. Now can I remind you that Pharaoh never saw God for once. I said he never saw God for once. But he saw God's power at work in the life of Moses. God's battle ass. Hear me friend. Your environment may not see God physically. They may not know God, but they are waiting to see the power of God at work through you. I said they are waiting to see the power of God at work through you, his battle ass, which actually you are. For he says, that at my battle ass and weapons of war. If I were you, I would take a warfare posture this morning. I said I would take a warfare posture this morning. As we begin to get ready to pray. Now hear this, every battle ass on the line. I said every battle ass on the line must always be ready for battle. I said you must always be ready for battle battle likewise an ideal ass must be sharp and ready to do justice to any object if i may ask how sharp and ready are you for war but the originator of war is saying that at my battle ass I usually tell our people that the worst thing that can happen to a good soldier is to get to the war front and be eating barbecue or goat meat pepe soup. Such a soldier would have automatically declared himself a failure or victim of war. Hear me, friends. The call to be his battle ass is not the call for gentlemanity. Hence, the Bible says in Matthew 11, verse 12, and I read, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. Kai, hear me, child of God. The noise of the battle in any battle is enough to keep every warrior on his toes without retreat. Hence the Bible says in Isaiah 9 verse 5a and I read for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. Chai. Now hear this. Every God's battle us on the line. Hear me and hear me well. The devil is fully occupied 24 hours of the day manufacturing evil arrows and sending them on assignment. Kai. That's why the Bible says in 1 Peter 5 verse 8 and I read, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, 
walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Ziketepe legede de legadesh ekrakatapa legede de legadasha. Friends, that means he is not the lion. It moves like one. Ziketepe legede de legadasha. Chai. Zineke legede de legadesh ekrakatapa legede de legadosha. Now, just before we pray, at no time should you relax against the powers of the kingdom of darkness. Hence, the Bible warns in Ephesians 6, verse 12. And I read, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, hear me, friend. As God's battle us, you must learn how to be occupied much more than the devil. What I have just said, you must learn how to be occupied much more than the devil. No wonder the Bible says, occupy till I come. We must learn how to engage the heavens until the agenda of God is fully established on the surface of the earth. I mean, until the agenda of God is fulfilled through us. As we conclude, it is important we know the B aspect of our text. And I read from Jeremiah 51 verse 20b, and it says, For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Chai. That means God wants to use someone on the line for exploits. I said he wants to use you for exploits. And this exploits include breaking in pieces the nations and destroying the kingdoms and bringing the will of God to pass on the surface of the earth and obstructing the activities of the kingdom of darkness anytime I read Jeremiah 51 verse 20 I always remember my encounter with a mad woman in Enugu South East Nigeria where I live. How a mad woman saw me about to enter my car. I mean a mad woman completely dressed in her insanity regalia. She looked at me and walked close to me where I was entering my car and said to me and I quote her, if you look at somebody's kingdom, you will go and scatter it. You look at somebody's kingdom, you will go and scatter it. And they said, leave her. And they said, leave her. Friends, what the mad woman came to do was to give me a privileged information what was discussed in their coven about me. Now hear this. When they finish their useless discussions, the one who is known as the head of principalities and powers will say to them, leave her. Kai, for it is written, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Of course, that is not a plea, but a command that must be obeyed. I said it is not a plea, it is not an appeal, but a command, an injunction that must be obeyed. I strongly believe that God is already speaking to someone on the line. As we pray, I came to challenge every God's battle us on the line to jettison fear. Give fear a quick notice this morning and arise in the power bestowed on you as God's own. As his own battle as a weapon of warfare. And begin to confront and condemn every form of wickedness and satanic manipulations and imaginations that tends to oppose your effectiveness and usage as God's battle as and weapons of war. And victory shall surely be yours in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Make that amen louder from the other side. Amen. Let us pray. 
Hear me, friend. You buy a car first before getting the spare tire. You become a child of God first before becoming his weapon of warfare. Briefly, I would like to pray for someone on the line who is still struggling with sin and you are saying, God, here I come. Quickly say after me. And if you are a backslider, I encourage you to please join them. Now say after me, my Father in heaven, I come to you today. I am a sinner, Lord Jesus. Please forgive me. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. And give me the power and the grace to follow you and to serve you for the rest of my life. Thank you for serving me. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. I say big congratulations to everyone who has just made this prayer after me. It is my prayer and my desire that the Lord will uphold you even until the very end. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I prayed. Amen. Since let's go, take a warfare posture. I said take a warfare posture. That at my battle as and weapons of warfare. You are his weapon of war. Now, just before we proceed, can we do this song together? Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, great in battle. Jehovah is your name. 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 Mighty warrior, great in battle. Jehovah is your name. I say, take a warfare posture. Jehovah, the man of war, is here. And he's saying that at my battle as and the weapon of war. Somebody pray. Go in the Holy Ghost. Oh Lord, sharpen me and use me. I said pray. Make me an effective tool of war. Effective tool of war. Effective tool of war. Effective tool of war. I said somebody pray. No spiritual wires should be weak this morning. Says pray. You are his weapon of war. You are his battle ass. My father, my father, use me for exploits. Somebody pray. Use me for exploits. You are not meant to be weak. In this season. Receive capacity. Use me, oh Lord my God, to break in pieces nations. Use me, oh Lord, to destroy kingdoms. Use me, oh Lord, to destroy kingdoms. I say somebody pray, including the kingdom of darkness, including the kingdom that opposes the kingdom of our God. I say somebody pray. Don't close your mouth. A close mouth is a close destiny. A close mouth is a close case. I say pray. If you cannot speak in 
tongues. Zelegate the legates receive the baptism this morning. Zelegate the legates wherever you are. Zike the big legates. Ikraka tapa legate the legates. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Zelegate the legates. Zike legate the legates. Open your mouth. Zelegate the legates. Zina kalagada da legates. Zelegate the legates. You are his battle ass. Zelegate the legates. You are wired for war. Zelegate the legates. Nekete lekete. Nalani anda da gada da braga dos. Zelegate the legates. I say go in the Holy Ghost. Mystery to mystery. Zineke legate the legates. Receive capacity. Zelegate the legates. Don't be weak. Zikete pe legates. I say don't be weak in this season to pray. Zelegate the legates. That at my battle ass. Zelegate the legates. Let that become their ringing tune in this great season. Zelegate the legados, shante legate the legados. You are his battle ass. Zelegate the legados, ikra katapa legados. Your new name from today is weapon of warfare. Zelegate the legados, I say that is your new name, weapon of warfare. Zikete pe legados, malian de legate the legados, shante legate the legados. God is set to do something in your life in this great season. Zelegate the legados, shante legate the legados. Zelegate the legados, malian de legate the legados. Receive the spirit of power. Zekete pelegudus. I say receive the spirit of power. Zekete pelegudus. Send fear back in. Zekete pelegudus. Fear go. Zekete pelegede de legados. Shante legede de legados. Fear is time to go. Zekete pelegudus. Your period of occupancy has expired. Zekete pelegudus. Somebody pray. Zineke legede de legados. Malian de legede de legados. No more nonsense from the camp of the devil. Zekete pelegudus. Malia kagada pelegudus. Command fear to go. Zikete pelegus, I say command fear to go. Zikete pelegus, the days of occupancy has expired. Zikete pelegus, because you are God's battle ass, a weapon of warfare. Zikete pelegus, and not weapon of fear. Zikete pelegus, you are not weapon of fear. Zikete pelegus, you are weapon of warfare. Zikete pelegus, ikra katapa legede de legus, malian de legede de legus. Prayer is power, I say pray. Zikete de legus, prayer is spiritual energy, I say pray. Zikete pelegudus, legede de legudus. Prayer is strength. I say pray. Zikete pelegudus, prayer is your lifeline. I say pray. Zineke legede de legudus, shante legede de legudus. It is your lifeline in this great season. Zineke legede de legudus, so pray. Zikete pelegudus, receive the oil to pray. Zikete pelegudus, with genuine results. Zelegede de legudus, shante legede de legudus. Kai. Zikete pelegede de legudus, shante legede de legudus. Kai. Zelegede de legudus. I see you walking in the supernatural from today. Zelegede de legado, shante legede de legado. It is your bona fide right as his battle ass. Zelegede de legado, malian de legede de legado, and as his weapon of war. Zelegede de legado, ikra katapa legede de legado. Zelegede de legado, give God glory everywhere. Zelegede de legado, shante legede de legado. Zelegede de legado, ikra katapa legede de legado. The oil of prayer is already resting upon someone on the line. Zikete pelegedos take it. Zilegede delegedos I say take it. Zilegede delegedos boros kalagada dalagados. Malian delegede delegedos. Brala gado shante delegede delegedos. Malia kagada balegedos. Zilegede delegedos build up your capacity. Zilegede delegedos. Malia kagada balegedos. Zilegede delegedos. Malian delegede delegedos. Lord we give you thanks. Zineke legede delegedos. Ekra kata balegede delegedos. Be thou exalted my father. And blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Thank you for spirit praise daily devotional. Thank you for the fire, O oh God, that is being released upon this global prayer platform every morning. Zinekelegede de legadasha, zekete pelegedosha. Thank you for the equipping and empowering. Zelegede de legadosha of the sense that is going on on this global prayer altar. Lord, we are forever grateful. We are super grateful. Zelegede de legadosha, we owe you a debt of gratitude. Zekete pelegede de legadosha, ekra katapa legede. Thank you, our Father. Thank you for decorating your people with your power and your glory this morning. Zeneke legede de legadasha. Inherit the glory, my Father. Inherit the praise. Zeneke de legedos. We count it a privilege. Zeneke de legedos. And we say, be thou exalted and be magnified. Zeneke legede de legedos. Ikrakata paligide de legadasha. And blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Zikete pelegedos. Who has chosen us as your Battle asses, zikete pelegede delegede, zeneke legede delegede. From this morning, we assume 24-hour duty to serve you effectively and to be used of you efficiently. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, 
Thank you, my father. And blessed be God. Zekete Pelegidus reign forever. The king that never dies. But we pray with thanksgiving. In Jesus Christ's marvelous name we have prayed. Amen. Make that amen louder from the other side. Amen. You can continue from here. It is allowed. Zikete pelegedos, mania kagada balegedos, zelegede delegados, brala gados, zelegede delegados, malian delegede delegados, mystery to mystery, malian delegede delegados, shante delegede delegados, zikata palegedos, zelegede delegados. And I decree and declare to everyone who has listened to this broadcast, zinekelegede delegados, ekrakata palegede delegados, that the capacity to become and remain God's battle as and weapon of warfare be released unto you i say be released unto you be released unto you be released unto you be released unto you immeasurably 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 in the precious name of jesus christ of nazareth i decreed amen make that amen louder from the other side amen since once again you can continue from here this is spirit praise daily devotional thank you our father and blessed be god go dominate your word in partnership with the holy spirit with the holy spirit with the holy spirit Thank you.